Welcome to another Safejas app podcast and uh, this time around I want to show you a nice application that is giving you the very best of information that you can get around your smartphone or about your smartphone. It's called AIDA64, uh, an application maybe known also from the Android world. Uh, it's a system information, hardware and software information utility and in this case it's an native version for Safish OS devices, so you can download it from the Yola store and it will give you a nice list of uh, different categories where you can get information from. First of all, overall system information, just like for example the device model that I'm currently using, in this case it's a Yola C phone, a device type of course on a tablet, will print tablet for example, the model, the brand, the board, the device, the hardware, the platform, the product, device IDs, uh, installed RAM, uh, the total memory, the available memory, the internal space and so on. So very nice little list. If you want to know a little bit more about the CPU, you can click on the CPU. It will give you an, a very detailed list of what the CPU features are, how the CPU is called, Qualcomm Snapdragon 212 in this case, and you have also the um, product numbering system here, MSM8909 uh, version 2, 4 core Cortex are uh, ARM A7 processors um, at running at uh, 1.2, 1.3 gigahertz basically. And as you can see here, uh, you can also see the clock speed currently running, the CPU utilization, the scaling governor, the supported ABIs, uh, supported 32-bit 32 32-bit ABIs, and so on. So you, so you can see very very uh, interesting uh, information about the CPU itself, information about the display. As you can see, a very very detailed indeed. Not only screen resolution, but also technology used. The panel ID, if you want to know it, uh, the screen size in millimeters, the screen diagonal uh, diagonal in inches, the pixel density, the the the, the DPI the device pixel ratio, the um, GPU vendor, the GPU information, uh, basically everything that you need to know about your device, even OpenGL ES extensions that are supported by the GPU, which is pretty nice. Very nice also for debugging if you try to port SafeShares for another device and want to get to know those informations that are very necessary if you want to uh, port over drivers or test drivers out for your particular device. Very interesting. You also get some SafeShares information itself, so SafeShares information, just like the version number. Uh, the kernel version used, so the Linux kernel underneath Safe, Safe as the Wayland plug, platform plugin used in here, the uptime in days, the Android version for the uh, Android uh, compatibility layer or basically the, the hardware layer used here. And this is, for example, very interesting. Uh, it's using the drivers from Lollipop, Android 5.1.1. And the Android runtime itself, it's uh, supporting Android KitKat 4.4.4. So maybe we might see an update here some day on the Yola C and maybe also on the uh, Intex Aquafish, which is basically the same device uh, with a different label. Uh, also some thermal, in thermal information, just like for example, very interesting if you have overheating issues or something like this. Uh, or your um, device is uh, running very, very, very hot. You can uh, check the thermal information here and see what or which uh, which uh, which sensor is basically showing you uh, that it's running hot. Uh, you have some sensor sensor informations as well, just an accelerometer, ambient light, uh, light sensor. As you can see, ambient light shows dark because it's pretty dark. And as you can see, also the display is um, then uh, calibrating its um, brightness to the uh, to, to, to the uh, light sensor or to the if it's so as you can see here, if it's darker, the display gets a little bit darker. At least the the uh, numbers are changing here, and uh, pretty nice uh, things that you can see. You have also information about the apps, as you can see all the apps that I've installed and you can uh, get uh, more information uh, about them uh, by... No, you cannot. I thought you can click on them to get more information about uh, how much space, for example, they take. Would be a nice addition, I think, 
for this application but you can see all the installed apps which is uh, also a nice addition I think and then you have system files which is also interesting that uh, basically tells you where all those information AIDA64 is getting are stored in and uh, this can be also very useful for some uh, people and I think you can click on them to see the information itself as you can see here about the CPU info for example so a very nice application indeed uh, AIDA64 for Safish OS and I think they are still developing it, still trying to improve it to get uh, more information out of your device and a very nice application available not only for Safish OS but in particular for Safish OS so give it a thumbs up just like I do here and uh, yeah this is everything for this little Safish OS app podcast I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching